Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Let's see, dog. Let's see. Drug. Drug. Hey, hey, hey. I can see now. Thanks, dog. Hello. Thanks for the chat up. Hello. Where's Martina? Uh, Martina might not work. Oh, it's not working. Yeah. A lot of stuff isn't working. Look, everyone. Look. You might be able to tell. I haunted Cam. <laughs> you might be able to tell. Um, our face tracking's not working. For whatever reason, it just it hasn't put it up working. Yeah, neither has neither has Martina. Martina is, is a ghost is not working. I don't I don't know. I don't know why. We tried uh, rebooting it a couple of times, and we were like, "Well, we're gonna be super late, so let's Happy just Monday. let's just do it. Let's just do it without any face tracking or anything." Yeah, so, so don't try redeeming anything. It's just broken. Don't redeem anything. Yep. Okay, nothing's working. Maybe we should have a little text thing that says, nothing's working, no redeems. Moldrum, no! <laughs> no, Moldrum, no! Yeah, pin a message, that's a good idea. We can turn off redeems, maybe we should just do that. Yeah, do Some that. People can't even, can't even try. Yeah, do that. There's nothing you can do. Hey, hello, Eric. Hello. We do use pins for linking back submissions. That's true. Okay, then. Hmm. But we can turn them off. We turn the redeems off. And then you won't need to worry about it. You got jump scared by my face. That's not very nice. <laughs> How dare you? Um. Hello. Playing the jelly cats, do I got them, got them working over the weekend, and uh, that's one of the reasons he wanted to do a new build today. The list of redeems needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, agreed, agreed. It's messy. It's all messy. This music's so epic, right? What is it? Uh. Does music work? Does Nico, music not work? Nico is also saying that we need to turn off raids. Well, they were already probably turned off as well anyway. Okay, cool. Because nothing's working. Nothing's working. Why didn't that bring up music, though? Because that's not working either. But that's, that's streamer bot. Maybe streamer bot's not working. Is it turned on? But I heard Martina say something. I don't know, dog. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Jupiter, hello, first time dropping by. Hope you guys have been going alright. What all the right. fudge? Yeah, thank you. That works. Why doesn't music work? I don't know. Community day, hey Rene. B -B -O -L -P. Community day, part two. Woo. Woo. It's time. Day two, electric boogaloo. I don't oh, know. I recognize this. It's from Final Fantasy VII. There we go. Thank you. So, who 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 got to see the D and D session on Friday? Huh? Who of you? Who here? Because that sure was a doozy of a session. <laughs> it was good. I saw it. Holy guacamole! Huge Kovalor. Dropping. Halfway through the VOD right now, Jigsaw, you're a real one. Thank you very much for watching the VOD. Real one. Yeah, a lot of a lot of cover happenings. Spoilers, don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything about what it, what it is. You're gonna have to watch the VOD to find out over on Lady B's channel. You're working through Friday so you missed it. Well you can always go catch the VOD. Man, what what a stacked episode though. Things happened. Things sure did happen. Oster, hello. Good morning. Happy Sonic. Did anyone else also happen to catch Oster and I's Dreamcast on Sunday? We did a little, 
A little Sonic stream. Yeah, our faces are working. Nothing is working today. I'm sad to inform you that nothing is working. Microwave, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it was really, really fun. I had such a great time with Onsta. We were just we were just making Sonic sonas and chatting about Sonic, and it was awesome. And if you guys are interested in seeing us chat and geek out about Sonic and having a, a great time making an Ernest Sonic sona and a Gumshoe Sonic sona and a Phoenix Wright Sonic sona, then you should check out the Vodal Monsters channel. You should you should do you should do that. It was a really it was a really fun time. Alrighty, I'm all. Uh, I think I'm all prepped for for community today when yeah. it, when it happens. Okay, I'm sorry everyone about the fact that no none of the redeems work, and I'm sorry about the fact that my face doesn't work. Did we see the fan art from Blue on the Run? I I don't think I did. It, there was fan art of of the Sonic uh, Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah, it's in the server. What? Uh. No way! Hold on. Who's alright? Is this it? Let me have a look. Oh, I can't click on it because it's it's not my computer that the chat thing is on. Posts don't work. I don't know what's happening. Nothing works. Don't try anything. Uh, Doi, can you click on that so I can see it? I really want to see it. Oh my god! Right. Oh! <gasps> I That's like, amazing! I like the red shoes. What the shit? I look so cool! Oh my gosh! Blue on the run, you made me look so cool! Holy shit! We look badass! I'm gonna do a murder, Onster. I'm gonna do a murder. So are you! <laughs> We're both threatening! <laughs> That's amazing! That's so good! Holy shit! Thank you so much for showing that to me! You're welcome. I did not see that. Who gave me a knife back? That dog did. In fact, can I? Oh, there you go. Dog gave me the knife back. I did. Dog so that that me. works. That, which is that good. works. What knife? What knife? What knife? What knife? What knife in my pocket? <laughs> I'm walking around and you don't even know. So yeah, those are a couple of cool things for you guys to check out. Anyone who likes D&D, check out Lady V's VOD of our session on Friday. Because, oh man, that was a session. It was a session. Where stuff happened. Um, and if you like Sonic, then check out the VOD on Onsta's channel. Because, oh boy, we did have a great time talking about Sonic stuff. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my weekend. Um, and now we're going to do Community Day. That's right. Community day, day two, and only day two. No day threes here. We'll We've see. got to be quick. Yeah, we'll have to see because uh, obviously I have to go to work when I have to go to work. So. Yeah, you got 90, you got 95 minutes. Yeah. From now. Oh, yeah, and we streamed with, with RT doing D&D drawings on Saturday with Lady V. Uh, thank you so much, Fuzor, for reminding me about that. If you, if you watch the session and the VOD, and you want to hear us chatting about it a little bit um, before the D&D brief, then you can, you can check us out on Artie's channel. On Saturday, we did a little stream where we were drawing images from that session and uh, chatting about it with Lady V. We streamed all week. Yeah, I sure did. I did stream on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. None of them on this channel, but they're the three places you can find those VODs. And uh, if you enjoy what we do on those channels, then you'll enjoy those. So please go check them out. Check those cool people out. Lady V, Farty Arty, and Onsta. Although hopefully stream on this channel for some of them that you do with Artie, right? I, we might just make it a regular thing on Artie's channel since that's where we've done the first two. Okay. You know, I'd love to do it on this channel, but... I don't know how to. I, the last two times we've tried to try and say it up on this channel, it's been too much trouble. Yeah, this um, 
So if you make it so it's easy to set up and do, then yeah. Yeah. I'll try. But we have tried both times, and both times it's been like, this is going to be a huge hassle. I'm hoping this stream PC is not cursed. Cursed? It's kind of cursed, dude. What do you mean? Well, it's not. it doesn't work with NDI. It doesn't work with Spout. It's being weird. Mm. In inexplicably weird. Hmm. It, it better not. We spent a lot of money on that. It's still funky. I know, it's still funky with Spout. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like it's too good and too new and all of the tech that we depend on is too old or something. I'm not sure. But you're installing the same versions. Same versions. Yeah. So it should be communicating the same. What's really weird is that my new laptop, which is just as new, works. It, it just works. And the stream PC, the place where it the only place where where it needs to work doesn't work. Baldwin says sounds like firewall, and Ansa says, "Can you ask Thor about it?" I can I can send a DM to Thor, mm -hmm. but whether he'll answer is. Martina says, "Didn't you try? Uh, didn't you need to update Unity?" What? No, I'm not updating Unity. And okay, Ford says, "Eleven days till the Halloween costume contest submission closes." Yep, that's right. Everyone remember, we're doing a Halloween costume contest this year, and it's running right now. You can submit an image of the outfits you think we should wear for Halloween. The submission form is in the Discord, the announcement Discord. There's 11 days left, so make sure you get your entries in. Yay. Best small girl's big thought says, Hi, I'm best friends with Lovesick and Reb. Hi. <laughs> Hi, best friends with Lovesick and Reb. I'm Swifty. Morning, ghost. Hello. <laughs> Rev! Hi, I'm, I'm with besties, ghost, and lovesick IRL. <gasps> no way! You guys are all together! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ha, ha. I hope you guys are having so much fun together. That's amazing. Why are you spending it here? I was just telling everyone, Rev, about the D&D session. They gotta go and check it out. It was such a good session. Everyone, Reb plays in the D&D &D sessions with us. Reb is Wick. Wick's an amazing cowboy Janassi. They're so fucking cool. They're so cool. They're so cool. They're so cool. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cool. So, so cool yeah, go, go check them out. Yeah, shout out to Rebecca Roni. Shout out to Rebecca Roni. Shout out to Rebecca Roni. <laughs> yeah, the triple threat is here. Well, I guess we better start Community Day. Ah, uh, so. All right, so I'm going to be reading them out, right? Uh, while, yeah. while you look at the art. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Hot and Cold says, I love Wick. She's so cool and so dumb. Yeah, I love Wick. I love Wick so much. <laughs> oh, I'm very excited to play more. Uh. Uh, yeah. Oh, Rev, you saw the live notification and went Doig Swift and all open. That's so sweet. Thank you. We're doing Community Day uh, part two. But yeah, this is it. So this yeah. is Distracted Senpai. No, we've done Distracted Senpai. Now we're on to. Ba -ba -da -ba. Can we make it bigger on screen? Or is this the biggest it can go? This is here. Enchanted Wish. Yeah, because it's not showing my whole screen, dog, so I would like it if it did. Oh. What the... What the fuck is that? Why is that doing... That does, that's, yeah, not that's not right. No, right? <laughs> I think you have to turn off uh, region of interest. Oh, okay. Let me check. Yep, you're right. For some reason, region of interest was on. Don't know why. Nico says it does feel like the team has one functional brain between them and Carrie has the brain. It's true. We had the brain a little bit uh, last week, but Ritz definitely didn't. Um, well, Enchanted Wish, keeping Enchanted it short. Enchanted Wish, here we go. Just saying a fan art of streamers such as Doysif, Renny right here, Lady Vignette, Dizzy at Beans, Party Artie, and Rebecca Rowan. Yeah, whoa. Let's have a look. I love this wick sketch. Speaking of wick and how cool wick is, look at this. <laughs> look how cute this wick is. I'm losing my mind. So cool. That's good. This popped up 
in our server, I think, during Rab's birthday stream. Oh, nice. Uh, and I immediately was like, holy shit, this is the fucking cutest things. Got any eggs? Oh my gosh, wick and eggs. <laughs> wick and eggs. Gotta get those eggs. And then look, we've got Lady V, our DM. Oh, cute. And also just awesome artist in her own right, wonderful person, very cool streamer. We've got some Rene over here. Oh, look at this cute little man. This cute little guy. Delivering the cheese. Oh, he's so cute. He looks like an Animal Crossing character. He's so cute. And here he's got such like shitty little asshole energy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Very like, he looks accurate. like a boss baby character. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> is he riding around on a rat? <laughs> yeah. He just ran around. Just ran around. Little squashed man. That's very good. That's a sticker right there. Congrats on the new job, uh, Doodle Corals. Oh, cute. <laughs> this one's cute. The cheeks really suit him. Yeah, they really do. This one looks like he belongs in... Um, what's that um, What's that cartoon where there's a little boy who's smart and he has a, he has a, he has a dog? Peabody and Sherman? I, I it's guess like a Peabody so. and Sherman character. He's half rat there. It's cute with the little teeth. With the little teeth. Little shocked, Rene. <gasps> oh. Oh. And we got full rat, Rene. Full rat, Rene. Full rat. Full rat. Yep. Love that. Suits him. Suits him. Who's this little stinker? <laughs> I don't know this little stinker. I like the little heart tail. They look, like, they look like something from Five All Goes West. Like a little urchin mouse who would steal your wallet. It's cute. And then here is hugging a rat with little heart eyes. Very cute. Little blushies. Cute. Super cute. Looks like Jerry Mouse style. Jerry Cheese. I'll always be haunted by Jerry Cheese. And then we got Dizzy. Oh, this is so cool. Dizzy. Is this is this a is this their Rene rat? It could be. They got us a little sailor outfit on. <laughs> but it's too big. And then who's this cool customer? Who's this, who's this cool, like, samurai ass, ronin type, cool, I don't know if they're a lizard, but cool little creature. This is just a wishified rat. Cute. <laughs> Cute. Oh. oh, wish birthday. Wish birthday. Yay, happy birthday, wish. I don't know when your birthday was, but happy birthday for it. Everybody's birthday Everybody's was over the weekend. Birthday. Artie's birthday was last weekend, as in yesterday. <laughs> and then Reb's birthday was like a week or two ago. And Wish's birthday as well. Happy birthday. Oh, we got some Arties. Watch out, Arties about. Arties about. Little guy with the big flower. <laughs> Little birthday man. <laughs> Little man. <laughs> Little man. Wow. Oh. Here he is looking like he's about to kick ass. I think that's his um, Elden Ring build. Oh, I was going to say cool little outlaw outfit, but that makes more sense. Yeah. All the coolest people were born in August. Oh. <laughs> Eating popcorn. As you, as you do from a little flower pot, he was like, fuck you, flower. Get out of my way. I need this festival for popcorn. The little swirlies are so cute. Oh, is this Halloween, Artie? He's got a little Mario flower. He's got, yeah, he's got a little chomper. I like the little pumpkin mask. <laughs> <laughs> he looks feral. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Let's see. Do doop doop. Little squished arty. Just being a little squished. I like the little squished ones. They make me happy. <laughs> and this one's just cute. Just cute. This one, he just looks like he wants uppies. He's like, uppies, please. Please. His oh. thumb, thumbs are backwards. <laughs> you leave his thumbs alone. Okay. Oh, oh it's you. Oh, it's our human thumbs. It's so cute. Surprisingly ah. accurate. Is that's not? I mean, 
I'm not that cute. I wish I was that cute. You're that cute. That's cute. You're that cute. That's cute. I want the outfit. I want the little red hat, little red beret and blue hair. That'd be so cute. Weave is like human. <laughs> yeah. Here's a dog. You little, I wish you had green hair, dog. You should dye it. It'd be so good. No. And then, ah! Ah! <laughs> little troublemaker with a paintbrush. You're like you're about to commit some crimes. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go paint the streets. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna go paint the streets. And that's Welcome everybody. She. Thank you so much, Wish. Wish. That's Your art cute. style is so cute and appealing. I am. I've. I've got this. This is giving me plans, or this is fitting into my plans. What is I it? Got, I got plans. Bokai. Yeah. Bokai. Yeah, it's gonna help. This is extremely cute though thank you so much for sharing your lovely art with us lady v says i love wishes art so cute me too isn't it the fucking cutest i can't get over this wick i just can't <laughs> she's so cute man <laughs> look at her look at her look at this look at this swift oh my gosh this, look at look at this that's so freaking cute so much appeal Okay, let's see. On to the next person. We got Fazara. Fazara! Fazara says, Hey, Dog and Swift in chat. I did a bunch of art over the last month, way more than I usually this do. This is a lot of art. Uh, the green segment. And some of is some of my favorite drawings I did for Chroma Core uh, this year. It's a fun annual community event where we draw daily prompts for about a month or so. I did about 25 out of the 30 of the prompts Whoa. in total. Some of them are more or less finished illustrations, while others are more like cleaned up sketches and concepts. That's awesome. Holy shit, look at these. Wow. Possessed peer. Oh, sitting back to back with a ghosty. That's so cool. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Hazardous ancient landing site. Damn, these are amazing. I love them. Abstract prompt, semiotic ego extraction. Yo, Whoa. that's badass. This is really cool. That's awesome. The, oh, the magic washing board, <laughs> movie poster prompt. Oh, oh, this is the beginning of a D&D &D character in the making. This is a warlock. <laughs> this is a warlock about to get their patron. Who's the little dude in the corner? Oh yeah, who is the little dude in the corner? Mysterious man. Mysterious man. Um, What's going on here? What's going on here? Are we ready for the purple section yet? Not quite. Oh. Ooh, quite. Draw. Shields and swords. Poisonous mushroom swords. Nice. And shield. That's cool. Look at these. I like the green knife looking one. Yeah, that's like it's like pumping out poison. These are so imaginative. What amazing designs. Look at these designs holy shit it, like seriously these designs are fucking awesome they're awesome they're awesome you got some skill look at these the shield all the mushrooms growing off it look at it isn't it awesome that's so cool look at this shield it's beautiful holy shit this is inspiring mushrooms are cool mushrooms are cool mushrooms are cool Ooh. And then we got uh, my cadet for Chroma. She was cursed to become a sea creature. A sea creature! Cute. Really like the profile. Yeah, I like the shape. Yeah, shape language is good. Strong shape language. Very nice. Estia. And Ooh, then this is flambe. the visitor. Oh, look at this. There's something about the face on this this like child that makes him look very shifty. <laughs> like, I, I'm about to pop off. Maybe they're responsible for the the, the strange creatures approaching. Because the strange creatures, I kind of want to befriend them. Look they're at right. these blobos. They don't mean any harm. <laughs> the real villain. They're just they're just trying to they're just trying to make friends, man. Look <laughs> at them. They're cute. Yeah, the lighting's amazing. Isn't it so cool? The real enemy is in your arms. Like, it's obviously something that you did, like, you didn't take 
a million hours on it because you can like see the nice brush strokes and stuff but you've even with just like the impression that you've given you can tell this is water you can tell this is land like you've really effectively conveyed like all the different textures and what's happening in the piece it's so very cool. cool see lizard necromancer with minions <laughs> the minions are like yeah <laughs> <laughs> whoa whoa yeah Super look cool. at the little butt hey <laughs> What? They got a little book. They do. You don't gotta got zoom cake. so much. You gotta look though. at that. You gotta. They look like they were having a great time. Good for them, man. Good for them. But spotted. And here's Estia again, getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. Having a great time. I wanted to make sure that when they got their mugshot, they looked fabulous. So for yeah. any future convictions, they can rely on this one. Throwing up a little peace sign. Arrestia. <laughs> That's good, Martina. And then, oop, this is like the same prompt. Ooh, so maybe we're seeing this person's face. We're like getting extra context. Oh, they look so upset. Great expression. Wonderful expression. We love crimes. We do. We do love crimes here. Goblin Baker. Oh, no. They look so sad. I love the way the nose is like floppy. <laughs> So it's like they're going so back fast when yeah. they run forward and then when they're sad it's like ow 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 good oh i feel bad for them i want them to be successful it's the banana peel what did it it did that's the culprit it's the banana peel what did it ma'am arrest the banana peel do a mugshot of that all right purple section no we're not done yet cat pirate with lobster pet look how much art you did you did so much art this month this lobster's got a knife <laughs> I'll fucking cut you. <laughs> oh, oh, it's got, it's a, got gun a little cannon. Well. It's, it's got, got a little cannon. Well. I'll fucking shoot you. How does it pull the trigger? How does it pull the trigger? <laughs> it, it doesn't. It just has to. Sh it has to hit it off the floor and hope that that does it. That the shock fires it. <laughs> the implication being that the cat has just given these to its pet and strapped the stuff onto it is very good. Ooh la la, this cat lady. Ooh la la. This is cute and awesome. It just rolls high for intimidation every time. Oh, that's great. That's great. It's for threatening. <laughs> yeah, fair. You know what? Fair enough. Tomato suitcase. <gasps> cute. Yo, that is cute. Yo, look at this one. Is this a gherkin suitcase as well? Or is this a green tomato? I think it's a green tomato damn you got you got some good object design skills going on i also love the fact that this is actual watercolor mm. like real media heck yes love to see me some real media so much fun to draw on paper it even yet says Artie would go feral for this suitcase yeah i think Artie would go feral for this suitcase and also for these swords and shields like come on come on Artie, if you're watching this fod right check these out okay now we can go on to the purple section if you like it's a segment of work in progress making a chest mimic <gasps> trinket case out of air dry clay yo i was gonna say it's a mimic oh look at this so cool damn yo this is awesome zoom out a little holy shit this would be a great thing to keep dice in if you're an rpg player Oh, that's true. That's really fun. <laughs> yeah, keep your keep your dice in a little mimic chest. How cool would that be? This is so awesome. So look at this little guy. I'm assuming you're going to paint it up. It's going to look so cool. Yeah, little glowy eyes and everything. Damn, that's really cool. That's really really cool. They look amazing. Is the character from Critical Role Swifty called? Caduceus. Yeah, What's Caduceus. That? Caduceus Clay. Okay, so that's coming up. Oh, here we go. Caduceus Clay spotted. Another painting. Lovely. Yeah, gouache uh, fan art of Caduceus from Critical Role and a t-shirt designer submitting for a contest with the theme Dreams. He's so pretty. Caduceus, where'd you get off getting, like, being so pretty? <laughs> it's ridiculous. See, big, big dreams. Big, big dreams. Big, big dreams. Want to get that? Want to get that solid cake? Want to mm. get them biceps? 
want to get them leg muscles. How do you know that it's not an arm? I'm it's, just kidding. I it's just got do. a kneecap. Just, it's got a kneecap. I get it. I mean, yeah, but elbows have elbow caps. <laughs> it's true. I love this is awesome. Big, big dreams. Gotta get swole. Gotta get swole. Every time Swift draws on these, you get an email. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's, that's funny. That's bad. I should stop doing that. Is what? Caduceus a fur bulk? Every single time. Or just, yeah. It's funny. Long, long wink cad. Wait, long twink cad invented a whole thing I'm weak to. What? Long twink? <laughs> What's a long twink? <laughs> what the fuck is a long twink? <laughs> yeah, he's a furbolg. So cute. Oh, hey, Vizara. Beautiful work. Look, yeah, yeah, amazing work, Vizara. Just geeking out about it. A bean sprouty. Yeah, fair. And there's a cat tax. Look yeah. for the cat tax. Caduceus is wonderful and cute. And I love him. Oh, oh cat. Oh, no. The cat got buried in bedding and pillows. <laughs> An avalanche has happened. Oh, yes. no. That's so cute. Little yeah, leggies. Little face. There's little, another one. Little leggies. Little paws. Snow. Maxi. And this is snow. Aww. Oh, snow. Oh, look, they're so little. Little body. Little body. Little body. Just just a pipe cleaner. Him big head. It's just, just a snake. That's a snake. That's not a cat. A snake. Thank you so much for the cat tags and for sharing all your wonderful art with us. You did so much this month. It's wild. Amazing. May you continue being so creative and awesome. Uh, all right. Thank you so much for Zara. Thank you. Who's next? We got Frenchiana Mini. Frenchiana Mini. Frenchiana Mini. Uh, saying, I thought I'd share some D&D &D doodles. Oh, we love those here. Technically, yes. Monster of the Week. My character is Ralph, and he's a stoner werewolf who unexpectedly became the big brother figure of the party. The sketches on the left are from figuring out his werewolf transformation, and the thumbnail is a quick visual of a scene our GM described where Ralph bit a vampire's head. <gasps> a loud crunch echoed through the cave we were in. The doodle one on the right is a comic I made for fun that I think describes our party members perfectly. Plus an NPC who is Ralph's cousin Lydia. This is this sounds already like an awesome character. Like sounds like you're having so much fun with them. What an epic moment as well. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I so, sure hope no one at our party ends up turning into a werewolf. <laughs> uh since we have quite a few characters who were new to the whole being a monster thing, there are a lot of instances where we bring up monster puberty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's check it out. Monster Puberty 101. <laughs> werewolf cousins why are we a part of this i thought it would be viable for you two to share your experiences being the only ones born and raised as monsters oh geez not born with her powers and roy what are you doing here don't mind me human he's just a monster movie nerd <laughs> science student who just discovered their monster side tween monster raised by her human father this is cute Monster Puberty 101. There's a little presentation. They're doing a little PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me explain it to you. <laughs> this is really cute. So use a wolf, right? Woo. <laughs> a woo. Can I get a woo in chat? Can I get a woo? This is, yeah, I love seeing people's D&D doodles and hearing the D&D stories. It's so much fun. The, the, the family dynamics are strong. The crunch is very cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i also really like like this figuring out the transformation thing it's great drawings and uh being the big bro of the group that's a very soft and nice thing that makes my heart happy Aww. that's cute thank you very much for sharing the story with us and also the character with us frenchy be really cool oh woo! heck yeah I imagine Imagine for a second that this party was a younger version of the party that you guys stumbled into in the forest. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> they were cute and nice once. <laughs> for those who don't know, we stumbled into a bunch of uh, people in the forest who were werewolves or turning werewolves or there was a werewolf amongst them. 
and they those guys were assholes <laughs> we we tried to talk to them and they did try and do a murder on us so you know <laughs> Uh, if if we see those guys again, it's it's on site, and I don't care if we're in a city when it happens. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> the perfect opener to uh, to any negotiation. So funny. So next up, we have it's Savina. When the moon hits your eye, it's Savina. They said, hi guys, first community day submission. Ah, sorry it's late. You guys were such an inspiration to help me realize that the type of stream setup I wanted was possible. So I've been working on my first 3D stream setup with the motion app since I can't code. This is a short video, no sound, of my starting soon screen. I have Omochao from Sonic hit the window when someone checks into the stream and a transporter light when someone follows. It's a work in progress, but I... Uh, I so appreciate y'all streams. Oh, so, thank you so much for sharing it with us. A video with no audio. We're good. Let's check it out. So this is a starting soon screen. Oh, I see. It's Cute. like an angle from like a part in a bedroom or something. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh, it's a spaceship. This is rad. This is rad. Are you a space tiefling? Chow. No more Chow. Chow. <laughs> oh, my Chow's here. That's cool. Another Sega person. This is great. This is so cool. What an awesome concept. You've been so creative with the composition here as well. Yeah. I yeah. really like it. Like uh, just getting the hint of the person like tossing and turning on the bed. And then getting to like go through the spaceship to get to the front where you're sitting. And then of course, I'm always going to be a fan of a guest guest uh, spot from Omar Chow. You're going to start flashing. streaming after the 15th of this month and you need to finish this commission quick. Tisha, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, Onsta, are you here? Chow spotted Onsta. Chow! You, did you know that I used to think they were called KOs? That makes sense. Because chaos. That makes sense. Yeah, right? And then it's like, okay, these things are related to chaos. Uh, so they must be KOs. It's like, no, they're not. A chows. Chaos sounds cooler. Chaos. Chows fits them better. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know now. Your little guy is an android demon. Glad you like it. An android demon. That's awesome. That explains, like, the lines across the face and everything. They're, like, different segments of the faceplate. I love the low poly look as well, I should say. And I love the fact that you're playing with this red lighting. It would be dope to be able to get some of the red lighting on the character. I don't know if that's possible, though. But it looks amazing. It looks so cool. This is going to be an awesome starting soon screen. Are you kidding me? It's rad. Yeah, this is very cool. I yeah. love the way that it moves through the ship as well when mm -hmm. you go between the cameras. Yeah. It's a shame the video gets a little crunchy at that point, but it looks really cool. I love it. Adds so much depth. Yeah. Makes you feel in part of the environment. Yeah, it makes you feel like it's way more convincing. I love it. Yeah, Small Ghost Big Thought says it's so good. Oh my god. Yeah, great job. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. It's um, Savina. How have you found using the motion app? Is it good? I'm trying to get my eyes back. <laughs> the music. So epic. That is a Sega moment, Alex. You're right. All right, I guess we'll hop on. Okay. This would have been the intermission point, but we've... we've okay, go <laughs> I was going to say, who's Logo? <laughs> yeah, Martin is just <laughs> yelling halfway there. Intermission, everyone quick, take a sippy. All right, I hope you did it, because it's done. Next. It's, oh, it's a Lady V. It's Lady V. Some of the paintings I've done recently for our D&D campaign. I learned a lot by making these, especially environment collab with Swifty. Feedback is always appreciated. Thank you and happy community day. Mwah. Oh my gosh, is that an amazing artist in person, Lady V, who streams really cool stuff over on her channel and is probably going to be streaming today, maybe, on her channel? And is the best DM in the world? Oh my gosh, is that Lady V? Shut up, Swifty, says Lady V. <laughs> Oh my god, Lady V! Best DM in the land. 
Wait, I didn't, I didn't know that he has a little he has a little earring. He used to be a punk rock star. Gustav, hello, little earring. Look at his little golded gold gilded leaves. Wow. Oh, if I had if I could get my hands on one of those leaves, it would probably pay for food for a couple of days. Mmm. Mmm. Gustav. Here is Gustav, everyone. Let me introduce you to Gustav. Um The yeah. the party don't like this guy. He looks a little <laughs> crazy in the eyes. Yeah, he's got he's got something going on. It's happiness. He's it's happiness. He's, he's uh, attached to a higher power. I love him. I love him and his his little his little beanbag face. I just want to squeeze it. <laughs> beanbag face. I just want to squeeze it. It is like wild hair. You know, the, it was very funny uh, to me as well as Lady V. How how strong a reaction the party had to this man. I was not expecting them to have a stronger reaction to this man as they did, but they certainly did feel a certain way about him. He didn't um, really help his cause, though, or his uh, case. I think we got too used to people who were willing to just do stuff because they were just being kind, yeah. rather than people who like had to get by in a city. Um, and then we have the mysterious box. Unbox. The mysterious box that, um, that we, we did do something with last episode, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So, you know, you have to watch the episode if you want to know what happened with the box. So awesome. Oh, makes me think of pizza. All the little inscriptions and stuff on it. What Z are you? Yeah, kids, zoom, zoom on the inscriptions, please. Yeah. They look like uh, hands almost holding like a star with an eye in the middle. So many theories that we have. Reb's brain is going off because Reb has a puzzle brain. So every time Reb sees this box, she's like, I'm solving. I'm going to solve it. So are, are those, look at the other corner, is it the same? It's the same, I believe. Okay. I believe all four corners are identical. Gotcha. Unless Lady V's been a real stinker and hidden something in there. Beautiful, though. And here's Gunhilda. She's so tired. <laughs> She's so tired of the party's shit. So tired. I will admit, every time I heard Gunhilda, I imagined like a tiny old lady, like a really short, yeah, no, bald, she's a ball version. Because I never heard the session where you first. I think Gunhilda's got some stuff going on, man. I think Gunhilda might have like some levels or something. Hmm. Like she's she's faster and stronger and less phased by being kidnapped by gnolls than she should be. Hmm. Reb says, "Wait, I didn't see this. Look, it's Gunhilda." It's Good Hilda. She's so done with our shit. Good Hilda's in BBEG. Oh my gosh, imagine. <laughs> she she went back. Um <laughs> she went back like seven days to follow us so that Kova could dream about her following us. <laughs> she ran away from the camp just so we could have that dream. And yeah. then ran back in the morning. Do, do, and then do. here's Lady Salvia. Oh, Lady Salvia. She's so cute. Oh, oh, Lady Salvia. Lady Salvia. She's, uh, she's sending the enchanted flower bud over to our party. Saved our asses. Cute. Completely saved our asses. Cute. Um, she's very cool. Lady Salvia is very cool. And then this huge illustration, which took such a lot of effort <laughs> from me and especially from Lady V. Because I gave Lady V like a real rough, shitty little sketch. And Lady V really fucking made it beautiful. And paid it up and added details. And made weird things I added make sense and look cool. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We did it. We managed it. So let's have a little kazoom zoom. Look, here's Gunhilda. See Gunhilda there. And then here's little Culver peering around the edge of the wagon. And here's Wick having a good old cowboy snooze. <laughs> going ye oh ye oh <laughs> and here's Ritz distracting Carrie while she's driving look at that it's a yeah. wall <laughs> <laughs> and and Carrie doing the responsible thing and getting us to to Ennis fall and the two horses Daisy and is it uh, Tulip Daisy and Tulip look at that I remembered 
And then the gates of Ennis fall into the city! And here's the golden doe symbol. And they got some nice plants going on and some nice banners going on. Let you know if there's any feedback. Feedback? What, what are you talking about? I that is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? I hope Maybe. that's what I think it is. Maybe. And uh, yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. And then Lady V alarms all by being like, now who is the perspective on this, of this image from? And we're all like, please, no. Beautiful though, right? She did this full painted piece to put into the VOD. So all of these pieces that you can see right now, uh, some of them are used directly in session. Some of them are added afterwards in the VOD. So the VOD of the, the sessions actually has added special art in it of certain moments uh, that you can check out on Lady V's channel. The perspective of Jimmy. <laughs> it's true. Also, Star Knight, welcome. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have a, we have no feedback. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Your your drawings and your paintings are incredible, and they're a huge inspiration to me. I have feedback. Go on. I feel like the sky color feels too cyan, and I'd want that to be slightly more blue because it feels a little unnatural, unintentionally to me. That's what do it. you mean? This is the most picturesque, perfect sea <laughs> that exists in the Empire. Uh huh. Yeah, That's... it's like the promised land, basically. It's got no problems. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lady V says, gotcha, dog. Thank you. Yeah, the color guy is talking. Gustav, we'll get you. <laughs> Gustav's oh, yeah. waiting. He's the he's the boss. He's the end boss. Oh god, imagine. Imagine it's Gustav. That would be something. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much, Lady V. I'm so happy that you submit to community today. I know you've been really, really busy. Um you you keep forgetting that all the art you're doing for the D, &D session is actual artwork that you're doing every month. So I'm really happy that you submitted some stuff. There's so much more that Lady V's been doing as well that she just can't show because it would be huge spoilers. <laughs> you forgot. I know, I know, I know. You're, you're sat there doing an amazing piece of artwork and at the same time as you're doing it, you're like, oh, I wish I had something to send into Community Day, but I just haven't had time to do anything. <laughs> and it's like, you're painting something right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> the Gustav Kova enemies to love us arc. Let's go. Oh no. The continuing shipping of Kova with everyone is so wild. All right. Onward. Onward. We got lovesick. Woo. Oh, there's a lot to read. Let's, okay. let's read it. Okay. It's a hot day's night. A little video showcasing three things from the last month. Woo, yeah. Feel free to pause between the segments to catch up with the more detailed descriptions I'll be providing here. Okay. Number one, a batch of emote commissions for my good friends Rebecca Roni, Tiefling Fan, and Are We There Yet, respectively. I'm gonna... We might need to turn the, the sound off so we can, we can look at this. Wait. It's not all that's been written. Uh, these helped me pay off a flight ticket for this Friday. Very exciting. I will be departing for the uncharted territory of Seattle, Washington, and will be reporting back with my findings. I get, I think we find All out right, what their sick. findings were. What, what are your findings? <laughs> <laughs> I have three things to share. Woo, yeah! First off, a batch of remote commissions. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Can I say... Can I say, this, this emote of Wick is so freaking good. It's so good. It's so good. I might have to commission you to do a Ritz one. I don't know. You just, you just did such a fucking good job. And it's like, it might be the most powerful emote we have to do with the D&D &D stuff. <laughs> like, I think it's so powerful. Let's have a look at the other ones too. Tiefling Fen, just a little guy. <laughs> just, just a just blinky little guy. little guy. Just sat there, being a little guy in the corner. And then we have we have Weeb Coding. That's very good. That's really good. That's oh, really I love good. them scrungly hands. He's scrungly hands. I'm going to put the music back on. I think there's going to be more music and stuff later on. Okay. 
Well, there it is in chat. Get your lovesick emotes out in chat. Oh. Wait, is this the next thing I should have read? Yeah. Um, two is the first minute or so of the modded Sans boss fight from my awful Droffy edit last year that I completed for my Undertale affiliate versary playthrough early this month. I originally only modded exactly enough to get the footage that I needed start plus end of fight, but I went back to finish the whole thing so that I was it was a proper full fight. Oh this my gosh. included ingesting the pre-fight stuff and replacing almost all the dialogue. It was surprisingly difficult to put together, especially since the lines of the text had to be individually search barred and replaced with mistakes uh, only being visible upon testing and actually playing through the fight. I'm glad I stuck it though. Uh, was a super silly way to end the streaming event and folks had a good time with it. The whole thing's on my YouTube if anyone wanted to see all the new dialogue. Karina's dialogue is of course inspired by my fan fiction storyline that I concocted for the Drawfee anniversary supercut earlier this year. I've truly <laughs> gone off the deep end. I've truly gone off the deep end. This is so much Be work, lovesick. Before you play this, um, I have to point out that I've never seen all of the Sans fight. You have to close your eyes then. You're not allowed to see this. So I, I might, yeah, I might not... This I, yeah, I'm conflicted because <laughs> I want to see what Love the Six done, but I've never seen the whole Sans fight because I never fought, I never. To be beat fair, him. you still won't have because we don't know what's going to happen. That's true. I'll just watch it. All right, all right. This is so much work, Love Sick. What the shit? What the shit? This is amazing. But where is where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh! Oh! There she is. <laughs> Her little shitty face. I love it so much. Like she's got such gremlin energy. You draw Karina so perfectly. Add a little stunt you pulled in our channel. <laughs> <laughs> I can hold a grudge, you know. And I'm looking to get even. I suggest you make this easy for me. <laughs> the shades go on. But if you want to fuck around some more, well, you'll see. It's time to find out. Welp. Sorry, crew. But I must go all out. It's a beautiful day outside. Ghosts are treating, Neos are petting. On days like these, Dwarf is like you. Should be burning in super hell. <laughs> 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 the little Dwarfy mug. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Legacy car. <laughs> Legacy truck. I always wondered why people fuck around just to find out. That's so cool! If you guys want to see the full thing, you gotta to go to Love Six channel. Oh my god! Yo, <laughs> this is amazing, Super Hell. <laughs> I love Super Hell. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Go to Super Hell with Castiel from Supernatural. Oh god, that's so funny. I love this. Oh, so much work, Love Six. You're bonkers. Yeah, please everyone go to Love Six channel and check out the full thing. Absolutely wild. Neo's a petting. <laughs> you fool. You fool! What have you done? Last off, I present that small ghost, Big Thought, and I made Rebecca Roney's birthday. Whoa! Music by Ghost, edited by, by you. So you made this for Reb's birthday. Oh, the little waiting screen. Oh, 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 this Hello. is so cute. Was this your first stream? I have stream? no idea if this is working. <laughs> oh. oh, it's 
brother Melvin. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? Dad, you really want me to perish? <laughs> get, up on, get up on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Movie set city? Is that real? Is that real? Wait, really? Oh, wow. Chad, are you joshing me? Listen, I trusted you, chat. I trusted you. You know I'm gullible. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on my way. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new music. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, you really tried to get out of it, though. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> if you could do something crazy right now, what would you do? Jump out the window! <laughs> King of schmoobs! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, get it! Yeah, get it! Yeah, get it, Melvin! Woo! Prepare yourself! The one and only! Todd! Yay! <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> Melvin, oh, what overlay things! Oh, I'm gonna go hang out in Maryland now. Bye. I'm gonna go move to Baltimore. Fuck you, chat. <laughs> <laughs> now body slam. <laughs> oh! Oh, so oh cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. You're fucking adorable. That was so nice. Ah. That's so sweet. Ah. What a cute video to put together for Reb. Oh, I bet Reb was crying. Yeah, yeah, Rev says I was sobbing, y'all, yeah. Emotional damage has yeah. been done. Oh, that's so nice, though. Like, getting to see Rev from, like, her first stream through to what she's doing now with all of the overlay stuff and Melvin and, like, all the funny moments and everyone having a fucking great time. And it's just, it's just awesome. You guys are awesome. What, a, what an awesome, cool, kind, sweet thing to, to make for Rev. These little Melvin drawings. <laughs> like, this little, little, little <laughs> They so little. They so little. I love them. You were loud, ugly sobbing at the beginning of this, yes. Yeah, yeah, I bet you were. What a journey. What a journey. What a journey, Rev. Happy happy birthday from back then and also congratulations on being a real cool streamer i'm making the dream work teamwork making the dream work yo so cute so cute super cool is that wick melvin hold up hold up wick melvin wick melvin wick melvin wick melvin by tiefling <laughs> fen wick melvin <laughs> Wick Melvin. Little he's duct tape. <laughs> he's trying so hard. <laughs> Wick Melvin. D and D mentioned. I'm pointing. All right. I guess we'll we'll hop on with love sake. Thank you so much for sharing all of this with us. This is incredible. You have been a busy little beetle, haven't you? Mm. Very good, love sick. Very, Very good, good love sick. Mm. Thank you. So we've got like an abyss. Uh, spirit from Dead by Daylight in a Nizuko cosplay from Demon Slayer. That's so specific. <laughs> I've never played Dead by Daylight. But we have seen Demon Slayer. I've seen Demon other Slayer. people play it. Yeah, and we, have, we do know who Nesco is. So I recognize the cosplay. That's a cool smushing together of things I wouldn't expect to be smushed interesting. together. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. I can't tell if the pink flames are from Nezuko or from the spirit. Yeah, actually, because we haven't finished watching, we like we're not up to date with Demon Slayer. So if Nezku gets like Nez Nezku, <laughs> Nezku, if Nezko gets uh gets purple flames, I ain't seen him yet. Ain't I ain't seen, seen him. I ain't yet. seen him. Mm -hmm. I, being Ritz is like poisoning my vocabulary. I really? keep saying ain't instead of haven't. It's like s stop. Stop. You are you become can, him. You can speak properly outside of the D&D sessions. It's no. fine. It's I, like it's seeping into both me talking and me typing to people. It's ridiculous. But <laughs> It's because you spent hours reading books in that voice. Yeah, to practice the voice. Um, it's like it's like the kind of preparation someone might go for, go do if they're going to go undercover somewhere. That's That's the level of 
that's the level of training you put yourself through. <laughs> yeah, Lady V, I read fantasy books in Ritz's voice. Um, and sometimes I change the wording to make it more like something he'd say. And it's just poisoned my brain. And now I keep, I keep like not speaking properly in my sentences because I'm used to <laughs> whatever. I'm, I'm weird. Um, anyway, yes, this spirit is awesome. I'm assuming uh, TBH that the, the flames are from the spirit. Yeah. Like the purple eyes and the flames, I think might be a spirit thing. It's a yeah. cool combination of things though. Cause it's cool to see like the outfit from Nezco with like the slashes in it like worn out and worn down because the spirit wears like shredded clothes and stuff mm. this is really cool yeah thanks for submitting <laughs> lady v that's so overkill i love it lady v i think one thing you're discovering about me is i'm extremely overkill for no reason <laughs> i'm so overkill for no reason it's ridiculous thank you very much like in abyss for sharing this with us this is a cool piece i like it a lot keep it up yo yeah, great job great job Next up is Messi's Andrew. We got Messi's Andrew. Hey, Messi. Messi's Andrew Burt, sorry. Um, some traditional Pokemon, oh. a digital piece I crafted, plush costume, and my cat. Messi. <laughs> Messi, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Did you give Onsta a tank? <laughs> <laughs> Onsta Messi. tank commander. <laughs> Messi, what the fuck? Did you make Onsta even more powerful? What the fuck? Is Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? She's got little headphones and a little microphone! She's ready to command a squad! She's gonna fire! <laughs> this is amazing! It's very good. What? What has Onsta seen this? Yeah, this rules! <laughs> what the shit? Mercy, this is incredible. The deadliest of all plushes. She's just coming, she's just going to war. That, yeah, that cat is side-eyeing. Yeah, that cat's like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. This is a very good pet tax as well. Pet, pet the cat. Pet the cat. So cute. Chester. So cute. Little fluffy. A little rim light. So pretty. Cute. Aw, cute. Yeah. Looks cute. so soft. Want to pet. Want to bury hand in that fur and scrumple the belly. <laughs> Lady V, you've poisoned me poisoned me what have you done what have you done i'm poisoned and then we got a little dragon eye dragon air dratini dragon air dratini dratini dragon air dratini we got a little dratini oh it's cute it's, it's inside it's, a little underwater part. It's a little part i like the red outlines on those on those coral things yeah that's real good yeah the colors here are so cute that's one thing I've noticed about you, uh, Messi, is that your color work is so beautiful and lush and gorgeous. Wait, so did you Huh? I'm recognizing the tune, maybe. Yeah, every every piece you do, the colors are like, mmm, mmm, so like edible. So, so sweet coded. This is a little guy from Pokemon. That's an Amimobo, Amimobo, a Mobo. That's an Amimom, a Mimo. That's a Mimo. <laughs> I know this one. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, but Is it's, yeah, but it's oh. a little different. I like it. A yeah, Mimo. It's, I've got in the wrong name, but it's something like that. Mimo. It's, it's a little, it's based on an Amoeba. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe it's I, Amoeba. I've forgotten what it's called. I've forgotten what it's called. Oh, more, more pet tax. Oh no, they fell down. <laughs> oh, he, he, he. the little face is so cheeky. Oh, they've got li it. their little fangs protrude as well. Yeah, look That's at little, what, this is what Kuma's fangs do. do. Little, little fangy coming out. Little vamp boy. Yeah, so cute. Sometimes when you pet his face, you can feel the little fang. I'm surprised you gravitated towards Onsta Tank and not Ritz immediately. Well, because I've seen Ritz and I wanted to save him for last. Oh, I see. It's a Bonsley. I know this one. <laughs> Bonsley. 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 I love all the Pokemon doodles. I didn't realize you were such a big Pokemon fan. E Bonsley. Wait, did someone tell me what the actual name is? What's the actual name? It's R. It's R. It's. <laughs> it's. Uh huh. It's 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 Rich trying to read a paper. It's R. 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 Runiclus. Runiclus? 
Is that right? Runiclus? Like reunion. Reuniclus. Reuniclus. This is Reuniclus. Cool. This is Reuniclus. It's not Rebo Mamabobo. Rimabobo, huh? It's not a mum. It's a mama. -ma <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Uh -huh. It's fine. This is a Bonsley, everyone. <laughs> this is a Bonsley. It's a Bonsley, and the flowers are pink. They're like, they're white, but they've got pink in them and the colors and the way you've done them. And it's making my brain so happy because it feels so sunsetty and like lush and gorgeous. And your color work, Messi, your color work. Interesting choice to have that kind of light green outline to yes. them. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. I love the red, the red outline on everything. It feels like it's catching um, sunset colors yeah. of, a, of a setting sun. And just the white on these flowers is driving me bonkers. The fact that it's got this pink and blue in it, it's so pretty. Pretty. So pretty. And then, and then I get to, to be like, ah, it's Ritz. It's Ritz as a Pokemon trainer with Pokemon. You chose Pokemon for him. You chose the perfect Pokemon for him. <laughs> you chose the perfect one. What's Ozzy? the one on the right? It's 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 a it's a it's it's a zigzagoon. That's the left. Uh, oh, it's it's a I've forgotten this guy's name. Perfect color combo. I've forgotten this guy's name, but but it's basically Ritz as a Pokemon. Look, they're the same. <laughs> they're the this same. Is the same person. It's the same person. Tox toxicity. 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 Of a city. Of a city. Oh, poison electric. Yeah. Interesting. But Ritz wishes he was this cool, actually, you know. <laughs> actually. Look, this thing you do where you draw, like, the extra outline underneath stuff. I might have to steal that. That's very good. <laughs> it looks so good. It, you chose the perfect Pokemon. And, like, Artie chose a team for his D&D character, Kova. He chose a Pokemon team for him, like, a while back. Oh. And it got me thinking, like, I wonder what Ritz's Pokemon team would be. And you've just found the perfect ones because I was unsure. I was like, probably a lot of uh, ghosty ones, and uh, you know, I was I was just doing a little think about it, and then you did this picture, and I was like, oh, well, now it seems obvious. You chose the perfect Pokemon for him. What about that that Pokemon that possesses objects? Fan Phantom. I don't a know. Fan stump, fan phantom. I I've forgotten. There are a lot of Pokemon that possess objects, actually. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah, Rotom. Oh, Rotom, like the electric one. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I have no idea. I thought there was a ghost one. There is. There's a lot of ghost ones that possess things. The blep. Yeah, the blep. It's like like it's so head empty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ritz would adore this little guy. A messy. I don't know if you did this because you know something about the campaign. But, mm. <laughs> but you don't even know how fitting this Pokemon pick is. Yeah. You don't even know. Lady V knows. And Mike knows. I know. Um, and this is perfect. Ritz would adore this little thing. Like, he loves any cute animal. A favorite little guy. Mm. Yeah. Th thank you so much. Messy. Messy, messy, messy. These are beautiful pieces. You've done so much stuff. You've done so much stuff. Thank you for the for the beautiful Ritz art as well. Like it melts my heart every time I see D and D doodles of our campaign. Pookie says, "Wait, what? What is it? What is it? Was Ritz raised by raccoons? You've you've cracked the backstory. Shit, shit. Oh no. Everything's revealed." Oh, Pilky. Pilky. Thanks for the gifted sub. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, yay. <laughs> now you can have cursed Sonic Worm, Lady V. You're welcome. You're welcome about it. I mean, <laughs> I'm saying you're welcome as though I did anything. It was all Pilky. Thank you so much, Pilky. All right, onwards. We got Miss Poppet Plays. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Describing left to right, top to bottom, top grid, various painted rocks I made. Oh, uh, this month my community hides them to bring joy to others. Then people take them and rehide them somewhere else. Oh, that's, that's really cute. cute. The kids love them so much. That's why I keep making them. Oh, that's really cute. Oh my gosh, you're like you really are like your town artist, who's like gathering all the kids around them and making sure everyone has a good time. That's awesome. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love the space dinosaurs. 
Oh my gosh, I love them. I thought is that a Mary Poppins? That's a Mary Poppins. That's a Mary Poppins. Aww. <laughs> Mary Poppins has triggered the battle theme. <laughs> Shit, she's attacking. Mary Poppins, if you translated her into like an enemy in D&D, would be so powerful. She would she would be like Strahd. Can you imagine her Mortal Kombat just being like a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down and oh, then pulls a pose? British Swift, oh. I love the fact that I am British and whenever I do a British accent, I'm like, I make it sound so bad. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you do that. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. That's lovely. Mary Poppins! <laughs> I like you've got a lot of space stuff going on. I dig that. Dig it. Little fishies. Little fishies. Ooh, I've got the eyeball one. I hope they were creeped out. <laughs> Get creeped, suckers. Kitty. Cute. Another dinosaur in dinosaur space. Dinosaur in space. Dinosaur in space is dinosaur. a good concept. It's good. It's good. Strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with the like, uh, the kind of cartoonish uh, astronaut's helmet. Mm -hmm. That's just fun. <laughs> Swifty is a British Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Mary Poppins! <laughs> Dark Souls font, Poppins of the Chimney. <laughs> Poppins of the Chimney. Oh my gosh, Mary Poppins is the Dark Souls boss. That'd be something I'd love to see. How That'd would they great. design her? That'd be so cool. Do we? Do you have anything? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I keep in the middle. Middle sketch of a kitty cat fan art made for Craig PO429 Twitch. Oh. And gift art made for my in real life friend of her and two dogs, Teddy and Casper. Shh, chat, don't tell. It's a surprise. <gasps> no one tell. Oh, no one tell. Hopefully they don't watch the stream. <laughs> this is cute. I really hope they like it. I really hope they like it. This dog's causing mischief. Look at this dog. This um, dog's like, I'm going to cause trouble on purpose. That expression. Um... Oh, we got kinky. And the bottom, <laughs> and the bottom uh, two commissions made for Trauma Queen Thirty, uh, my first ever, and finally my pet tax. Loki Ooh! the cat, who turned thirteen this month, wish him happy birthday, or else. Your first ever! Congratulations on the commission. Very good. Congratulations. These are cool. I hope they really like them, and I hope you get a ton more. Get supported. Get supported. Great poses, though. Great poses, like great perspective. Very cool. Nice drawings going on. Very hot and steamy. <laughs> Not and steamy. Things happening. Mm. First commission pog says trust the stinky. Yeah. First commission pog. Congratulations. I hope that you get many more in the future. Well done. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's it's such a blep. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's low key. Speaking of hot and steamy. Pet tax. Pet tax. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at this guy. He's so good. It's so good. Ah, it's coming towards him with the blep. The ultimate blep. The, uh, what's uh, the stalking blep? The stalking blep? Yeah. What does that mean? Stalking towards you. The predator oh, blep. stalking. Yeah. I thought you were talking about like stockings that you wear. I'm sorry I didn't say it like <laughs> stalking. It's got an L in there. Stalking. Like what do you hang for Santa in front of your fireplace? Stalking. And what do you do when you're creeping through the woods about to murder Cover? Stalking. 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 Well, you know, what? what is attached to a flower? Stalk. A stalk, right? Right. Stalking. <laughs> stalk. It's all, they're all, all, all of them are just stock. Stock, 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 very, stock, stock. Very cute art. Very cute art. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. I, I do especially love the fact that you paint these rocks and leave them around where you live. I think that's extremely cute. And the fact that the kids already like them. That's, yeah. that's adorable. That's great. That's adorable. Uh, great milestone for you with the commissions. Fantastic job. Lovely artwork. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Nord Rost! Nord Rost! I'm going straight to the pet tax immediately while yeah, you go read. go for it. Uh, one... Ah! One metro station project. Ah! It's gold. almost nine. 
Yes, I we'll did, have to go to half nine today, I think. I did this project for my portfolio because at this point I only been doing single objects but never a full scene and this is like a best practice, going from modeling to texturing to implementation into the scene and adjusting everything in engine, uh, the materials, the shaders and the lighting. That's number one. Okay, one sec. There's like six things. I'm still in pet tax. It's look good. how, look, doig. It's good. You've bothered me. <laughs> it's good pet What tax. do you wish of me, human? I am busy snuggling into this. We need to get one of these for our cats. Look at glorious, glorious, fluffy, glorious, fluffy. Want a pet? Want to get my hand in there? Rub all over the belly. I love cats that like fly like that. Mm -hmm. It's good. This is, yeah, this, this cat is this so good. cat has Lord. hidden depths. Yeah, this cat's incredible. Okay, let's see. Number one. So this is the metro station environment. Wow. Wow. Look at this. This is so complete. Nice. Wow. There's so much stuff here. Wow. This is really impressive. This is incredibly impressive. So what is this rendered in Nordrust? It's Nord in chat right now. Yeah. Hey, Nord. Yeah. Uh, Renee says, Nord, this is very good hard surface realism. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. It, unreal gotcha hey, that's cool hey Shnu. man unreal looks so good <laughs> yeah look at it it looks so realistic like just looking at these like pipes with the lights around them my brain is convinced this is fantastic you were doing this for, just for practice did you say yeah it's beautiful like it's, great job it's for their portfolio yeah, it looks great. You did a wonderful job. Like, wow, wow. Like, it's just, I, I, I got nothing to say except wow. Yeah, this it's looks great. great. Uh, number two in the, uh, I don't know. It doesn't tell what, what zone it is. Um, Gnome Alchemist. Oh, it's turquoise. Okay. This was done for the game jam of pirate software in a group of five. I did all the needed 3D models, assets, and characters with an eye on the mm. in-browser compatibility. I really had to go low-poly stylized art for the game. Oh, interesting. Let's uh, check it out. And then there's a link to the, the game on itch.io. Nice. We've got a little mushroom. Very cute. Little flower, very cute. I, I really like the style of these actually. I think they're very cool. I think I saw this one. I don't know what this is. Is this like a hat with wings? What is this? What is this? I, th I feel like Lady V uh, played this demo. It was really cool. You have to like mix the um, ingredients from the le bottom left in the mixing pot and then put them in the cauldron and then throw them to defend yourself. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I, that sounds actually really fun. Also, I, I love these guys. Look at this assertive fucking bunch. <laughs> they're gonna beat the shit out of me. Oh shit, they're gonna break my kneecaps. Lady, Lady B says, I did, it was great. Yeah, this, this looks really fun, actually. That's a really fun idea for a game. And look at, oh, little man. <laughs> little numb guy. Oh my gosh. Oh no, they're really cute. Ah. <laughs> So uh, you say you did all the 3D for this game? Yeah, they, that's what they're saying. I wonder what you need a, a gymnastics horse for <laughs> and a horse head. Maybe that's what's pulling the, oh my gosh. the cart. I love, I love these like octagonal wheels on the car. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the, the gymnastic horses, I don't have time to model an actual horse. So I'm going to so do a gymnastics gonna horse do, instead. Yeah. A vault horse. Yeah. This, yeah, I love this wagon. I love the hexagon octagonal wheels. I know that that would be incredibly impractical in real life, but that makes me very happy. They're so chonky <laughs> and fun and nice. That's good to know. If we ever have wheels in the overlay, I'll make them not round. Little gnome guy. Twizzly hat. Little gnome. Little, little centaurian guy. Look at his legs. <laughs> There's something about the way they go out and then straight down that it's just the stance is <laughs> it makes me so happy dude it's like a little derpy but also really assertive i love it i love it there's so much charm yeah this is very lovely 
Yeah, those dudes can chase horse cart without stopping. They're like DBZ in Transmorphogorf Android. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is that a sentence, Chnu? I've never heard of Transmorphogorf. <laughs> oh, th that's probably what Lady V calls Transformers. <laughs> Lady V has a habit of um, forgetting what things are called and then giving them better names. Ah, <laughs> I see. It was very fun to do. It looks great. Uh... In the green section uh, is a project I do for fun just to redo the Akira bike slide scene, which I'm struggling with at the moment, but that's oh. the adventure we all love. Oh, okay. fun. Fun and interesting. Hey. Are you struggling with it because the animation is insanely cool and uh, getting the spacing right is difficult? Wait, this was done in August. Okay. Good Looking to know. good. good to know. What an iconic bike design. God, I wish I could design uh, mechanical things like this. Maybe I should just do a bunch of streams where I just do mechanical design in the mornings. Yeah, like a month. You could. You should study um, Sid Mead and uh, Toriyama. Yeah, just just like do a bunch of designs until I can get competent at it because it's such a weakness. Um, but yeah, this is looking awesome, Nord. <laughs> Martina says Mechtember. Mechtember. Yeah, maybe maybe it should be Mechtember. Fun fact, the bike model was inspired by the Dobby Akira painting I did last year. No way. That's no fun. way. The Dobby Akira painting, so fucking funny. Wait. If anyone wants to see that, it's in Renee's, uh, it's in Renee's stream. Lady V did it as a gift, I are, think. Are you going to animate Dobby doing the Akira slide? Oh my to gosh, To bring that please. painting to life. Please. It's fun. Dobby is a free elf. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, what's next? Sorry. I almost went on without you. Uh, Fugies in the blue section. I always wanted to have an online character, and now with the need of a Fugi for streaming, I had the opportunity to do so. Yeah, I've seen I've seen this little guy. I've seen this little guy on the chivalry streams over on Lady V's channel. Ha! Yeah, ha ha! That's what it looks like. The poses. <laughs> ha ha! Ha ha! Those streams are so fun to watch. But yeah, this is a great idea to do it in 3D, which is something that you're comfortable with, and then just save it as an image. And you've you've got yourself a talking and non-talking pose. Here's the here's the painting, Swifty. Here's the painting. Here's the painting. Oh, here's the painting. I wish we could show it on stream. Yeah. But everyone, you can click. You can click that link and check it out. Nothing on stream is working right now, everyone. I'm really sorry. Not our faces, not posting images, not redeems, Hang nothing. On. Nothing. Don't don't you don't you chivalry me, Lady V. It's chivalry. Chivalry works just as well. There you go. Bo, oh. <laughs> bo. Oh. Yeah, these are these are really cool. I like that you have you have this consistent character design thing, where you're like, I am like a little Lego-ish guy, and there's a post-it note on my face to do the expressions. <laughs> <laughs> that is very fun. That's fun. That's cool. Love these. Yeah, very smart idea. I like I like where you're coming from a lot. Um in the red section is a SNES box, a 3D model I did a while ago as a best practice on texturing and how to use objects can tell a story of use. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Tetris and Dr. Mario. No, you did a really good job. Nord, you did such a good job. You got the little yellow discoloration that you get from greasy fingers on it all the time. Yep. All, all my, all the cartridges I ever saw and played on the Super Nintendo had that. Yep. Because we, we all just manhandled them all the time so much. It's, yeah, that's like, that, that gives me nostalgia. <laughs> that gives me like heart feelings. Dirt. Just, just the discoloration there is like, oh fuck, I remember that. I remember the, like, looking at this and looking at that discoloration, I remember the specific feeling of a cartridge in my hand. Mm. It's like, I can, I can feel it in my brain as if I'm feeling it, like, tactically right now. I love cartridges. Oh, Why did we ever stop using cartridges? And I know, the, I know the exact feeling of, like, the sticker on the back here and how you can, like, get it with your fingernails a little bit. If you think about it, we could easily go back to cartridges because of, like, um ssds and stuff now oh easily but yeah. companies want to be able to roll you out day one dlc now it's so true. it's more convenient for them to be digital it's true 
Yeah, you did a great job. Blow into it. Blow into it. The Switch does use cards. You're right. When you shake you're it, right. why does it rattle? Blow into it. But they're so small. It still works. It's fine. Blow into it. <laughs> Blow, into Blow into it. Blow into it. Yeah, you've triggered my nostalgia. So I think that means you've been successful. Uh, and purple is different stuff, things I did over the last months slash year. Oh, oh, a little sad person looking out a window. Why are they so sad? <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh no, it's, got, it's oh, no, no rain. Oh no. No rain. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. It's, what, what is, what I is think this? it's like a napkin holder. Or straw it's, dispenser. The, the texture on this is extremely good. Mm. Like the reflection and then the scratched the scratched M. Damn. Damn. It's a it's a straw dispenser. Oh, I see. I see it. I see. I love how you're just like, I'll model that object. This random object. Little lantern. Little lantern. Little lantern, not triggering my DD brain at all. Little lantern. Oh, it's got a little hand on the bottom. What's this from? I've seen this in something. I think I've seen this work before. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe maybe it's a, the work I've seen before then, but oh. I, I love this concept. Possibly. Spirited oh. Away. Is it Spirited yes. Away? Yes, Spirited Away. That's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that in something, right? Yes. Oh, Nord. Oh, Nord. The, the diffused light around this, the feeling of fog, is really good. Really good. Oh, old, old PC. Old PC. Before my time, even, PC. I'll post it. Well, time stall. Time stall. I th hmm. Yeah, these are great. Not so powerful. So powerful. <laughs> what a polite looking lamppost. <laughs> like got a gentleman. A yeah. Yeah, I got a little hat, like standing in little T pose, like straight up, straight down, little good posture. Just uh, politely waiting to light your way. Not good, not strong. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Been at different times. These are fantastic. Damn, Nord, you're so powerful. Very cool. Yeah. I don't think I'd seen much of your. Um, realism based work before i've mainly seen the the fun little character things that you've done for people's streams um i'm really like bowled over and impressed at your skills in modeling and texturing mm -hmm. things to look and feel real it's i didn't cool. know that was part of your skill set but it turns out it you're incredibly good at it it's fantastic thank you so much for sharing it with us any PC is a laptop if you're strong enough. Never had truer words and spoken than that. But of course, Nord. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. This is wonderful. Also, I hope the game jam went well and you had a ton of fun. Sounds like you made something cool. All right, let's hop on to the next person. Oh, we got Onster. It's Onster. Yo, it's Onster. Look at this. Everyone, please. <laughs> please behold them. Onster says, um, I finally made it to a community day. I Woo! got lost in the blender weeds for a while. Still am, and it's really fun. Here's some, uh, here's some stills of some creatures I've made. Also a site of, also a site of art since I've been getting back to making 2D art again. Also, thank you so much to Rennie for all the blender help and helping me salvage Parappa's face. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Look at look at this little guy. It's a Digimon. Digimon. It's a Digimon. Digimon. So Oz has been learning Blender, which is amazing because she's going to become even more powerful. Even more. There's, there's something about this face. It's like it's like she crossed the Digimon with Dobby. <laughs> and it, it, it's just, it just every time I see it, it, it sends me. It's like this is this feels like a Digimon guy, and this feels like a Digimon guy, and this feels like <laughs> they just need help. I'll steer it to you. I want to like give them a glass of water and a blanket, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's sick. He's sick. He's sick. So cool though, like the toon shading stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, it's looking really nice. Yeah, miss. I like the eye shapes. I saw a video of this. Uh, Onsta's got like a cool kind of 
don't know if it's a shader, it, it but it wibbles. does a little bit of like a wibble. Yeah, yeah, it wibbles. It wibbles like it's boiling. It's yeah. really cool. And then we have some beautiful art. All the classics. We have Kiryu. Looking looking a little older. Is this is this Kiryu's cabin arc where he goes and lives in a cabin in the woods and like grows a bit of a beard? I was gonna say, I don't think that's Kiryu. Wait, that's a Dachi. That's your people. <laughs> I don't know enough Yakuza to know. This is Grandad. Does he live in a cabin in the woods? Adachi, I know your name now. <laughs> I know what you are, Adachi. Onsta! Onsta! Actually, I have to interrupt you, Swifty. Okay. I was watching a film last night um, called Bullet Train. came out in 2022. Uh, depending on your... Um, uh, it's, it has, it's, it's violent and it has a little bit of blood, um, but depending on how much you're okay with that, it is the most Yakuza feeling film I think I've seen in terms of just like, it, it's okay. It's set on, it's set on the Shinkansen. Okay. Everyone's saying bullet train is so good. I've never seen it guys. Don't watch this without me. Um, yeah, I watched it last night without Swifty. I might have to watch this then. Cause everyone's like, it's amazing. Uh, it's just, it's just really fun. Like it, it does have over the top action and like, a little bit of uh, gore, <laughs> not, but it's just like people getting cut down with swords. Oh, Lady Beach, you were like Swifty, we're watching, we're watching Swifty, we're watching with you. Oh, if you guys watch it with me, I'd love to see it. Oh, yeah, you guys are so sweet. Tangerine is very good. Also, Citrus, welcome. I'm sorry, nothing is working today. You probably came because you saw cool clips about the channel, but uh, nothing is working today. Well, welcome to Community Day, where we are looking at everyone in the community's cool artwork. This is Onsta's artwork. This is Adachi, I've learned. This man is Adachi. And uh, he, he lives in a bar. <laughs> Did you say Onsta? He lives in a bar. And it's a cute little Onsta, being cute. Great pose, really appealing, wonderful pose, as, as always from Onsta. And then we have our little guy. Little guy. Son. Little sonic worm. Little wet worm. Just, just having a great time. He looks very happy. It's your son, Ick. <laughs> it's my son, Ick. Yeah. So Let's cute. Get it. Let's you, get it. You, yeah, I get it. You drew him very cute. You drew him very cute. I always draw him so disturbing and you always actually make him cute. <laughs> wet boy. We love, we love ourselves a damp, wet worm over here. <laughs> oh, this is crunchy aquarium gravel. <laughs> Are you submerged in it? Did you bury yourself in the gravel like one of those little spiders or crabs where they're like, me, 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 and they push the gravel over themselves? I feel like that's what you did. I think that one moves as well. I've seen, I've seen these moving. <laughs> it's so cute. It's, so, it's like, you can tell onto style immediately. As soon as you look at the eyes and you're like, you got those blues in there, you got those purples in there. The blues inside the pupils is very good. It's so nice to see it combined with a 3D model because that's like something I've never seen before from you. Mm. And they go together really well. You're really Onsta, good. Yeah, Onsta is powerful. Speaking of how powerful Onsta is, check out this Parappa that Onsta made. Ooh. Look, Onsta made this. Holy shit, that's awesome. Isn't it awesome? Ons is so powerful now that she can make her own like 3D models for her overlay. That's unheard of. Yeah, now she's going to have Eric making cool stuff for the overlay and she's going to be able to make stuff herself as well. It's going to be all scrungle all the time over on Ons' stream. Are you using something specific for the, um, the black outlines? You're going to have to pick Ons' brain about it off stream, I'm afraid. I feel like it might be similar to the thing that I keep forgetting that Byte showed me. You gotta receive. You did that in materials. Nice. You gotta believe. That's awesome. You gotta perceive. You gotta perceive. You gotta relieve. Yeah, this this rapper is very strong and very good, Onsta. You did a great job. And uh, yeah, Rene apparently helped with the face. I do think the face came out super appealing. Yeah. Like hundred percent. You guys really nailed it with the face. That's that's Parappa right there. That's Parappa. I got like the little froggy hat. And he's looking so chill. He's looking so chill. It is cute. It's super cute. 
Thank you so much for sharing with us, Onsta. So you can do 3D stuff. It's like, ah, it's so cool. I can't wait to see what you do next. Really branching out, learning them skills. It's awesome. All right, let's hop on. Thank you, Onsta. Woo. Woo. We are on to Quincy. Uh, and I'm telling you guys right now, it's 20 past nine and we've got 10 left. Yep. So it might go to tomorrow. We might have to do the last couple tomorrow because so, I don't want to rush through everyone. So I want to be able to give them the proper time of day. Okay. So let's, let's read this. Uh, hello. I started watching Dice of Fods recently introduced from Drawfee oh, and love you. your community. Thanks for inspiring me to draw for fun more. Of course, uh, Akramint, you're amazing. I'd love to catch you live, but I'm on the west coast of Canada. Uh, illustration on the left was done for school. Um, Cute. The setting is based on my family's old summer house. I'm thinking of making a visual novel about the characters for my school thesis. Oh, that would be so cute. This is already adorable. Like, get going up a ladder to get a little peaches from a peach tree. Like, come on. That's cute. This is like, I really like the brush you've used. The texture is really nice. Uh, the illustration on the right is of, my, of my new D&D &D character. He's a 10-year-old elf who <gasps> is... <laughs> pretending to be an adult gnome so that people will take him seriously. Oh my gosh, more D&D &D characters? Yes, give them to me. He's holding a wooden toy of his hero, Owl Knight, a renegade fighter. Owl Knight! That's so cool! He's got a little owl mask! That's cool. That's awesome! Really nice owl line Knight. of action in that um, action figure. Mm -hmm. Also, look at this. Look at this lore. This oh. lore. He's I know what that is. It's a school badge. He's taken off his school logo so that yeah. people don't know that he's a kid. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. I love this little guy. Look at him. He's having a great time. Aww. And the bottom left picture is of Malcolm. He loves watching Doig Swift. Thanks so much for sharing. Oh, I really like your rendering style. It's so, um, so like unique. I love it. This is, this is really fun. I, I hope that you get to play as this character or have been playing as this character and are having a great time with them. Like, they look like they'd be really fun. They just want to be an adventurer now. They want to be an adventurer now. And then pet tax. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh, from last week. Oh. How can you tell? 26th of August. Because there's a clock on the screen. <laughs> no, I could tell because I'm doing the, uh, the animated emote. You said 26th of August and referenced the clock as I said what I said. I replied to you saying that. I replied to you, but this is the real reason I could see. I, I spotted the clock as you were saying it. All right. Look at this cat. They look, oh, oh, all these cats today have been so good. Thank you so much for the pet tax. So this I'm seeing, a powerful cat. I'm seeing rumblings in chat that, Renny doesn't want the next two things um, broken up. So I guess we'll just end looking at submissions here. The next two things broken up. Yeah, so Renny's next and then there's something after Renny. Uh, and I think you'd rather that they're, saw, they're seen together. Are you okay with it being pushed to tomorrow, Renny? Yeah, well, he's the one advocating for it. Huh? He's, I guess he's either advocating that we look don't look at um Rennie's today or we look at both today and go longer than half nine mm -hmm. so i guess that's your call yeah i'm checking i'm checking in with renee about whether Renee's okay with us doing it tomorrow or whether today is is needed not go longer you need to go to work okay okay fair enough you fine with tomorrow? Awesome. In that case, the next uh, 10 submissions, or 9 submissions, I guess, will be tomorrow. So up tomorrow, we have Rennie. Oh, Cookie says I'm boy, but I think it is. I'm so excited. Ooh. Uh, we have Rennie. We have the one after Rennie. We have Snow Twig, Schnoo Bear, uh, Tantalus, uh, the Animated Moon, uh, Triss, T Share, Took Art, and Bry. Ooh. So you know. Oh, Citrus, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I hope we get to see you tomorrow. Hopefully the overlay will work better tomorrow as well. So 
you can see some shenanigans and throw some bombs at us and stuff. Yeah, yeah I have no idea why it's not working. Excellent work, everyone. What a cool community day so far. You guys, like, fucking 37 submissions. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Tisha, you heard your name. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I did. I need and I named them for the net for tomorrow. Oh, gotcha. Sorry, sorry. We I have to break them up. There's so many submissions. Heh, heh. <laughs> heh, heh. Oh, Pantera says help, please. I've been stuck in Doig's basement for two months. He's only feeding me candy. I need some beef. So we don't. Beef is expensive. No protein. You'll take what you what you're given and you'll enjoy it. No protein for you. I actually just did my eyebrows with my actual face for getting the face track and wasn't working. Oh, you tried. Yeah, I tried. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Lady V, are you streaming um at some point today? No, 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 no. When you when you streaming, Lady V? I like it. So people know when to catch you. Yeah. You can start now if you want. If you start now, we'll raid you. Wait, you go on my uh, head. But there's no pressure. If you don't start now, we'll shout you out and tell you, tell everyone when you're streaming. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -da -da. Da -da -dum. Dum. Da -da -da. Give you five. Okay, no problem. Martina, can... can you tell us when Lady V is is up and running? It's fine. We've got until half nine. Yeah. So you got four minutes. You got four minutes. Before it becomes. That's one lesson you asked for. <laughs> It'll take six months. You will do it in six days. <laughs> Jada says the music hits you in the feels. Yeah, it's good. You know what it's from? It's some kind of Final Fantasy. Yeah. I know that much. I think it was from six. Da 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 da. Ba ba bum. Da 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 da. Dun dun. Da da da. Ba ba dum. Da da da. Da da bum. We're going. <laughs> we're going. Wee. I guess I could do a few shout outs uh, since we're since we're waiting. Another couple of shout outs for all the things I did this weekend that you should check out. Number one, first thing you should check out is a D and D session that we had on Friday over on Lady V's channel. If you like D and D, we've been playing a campaign with Lady V. It's been me and Rebecca Roney and Farty Arty and Schnuba. We've, we've all been playing. It's been so much fun so far. Uh, Friday's session was a wild lore drop. So much shit happened with one of the characters. Um, I'm still mind reeling from it. It was amazing. Uh, you should all go and check it out. And if you want to catch up with what we have so far, because we're only four episodes in, then you can find them all on Lady V's YouTube channel. So please go check out our D&D stuff. We're having a great time playing it and we'd love for you to join us and watch it live and stuff and, and hang out and talk about the sessions and theory exchange stuff and everything. It'd be really, really fun. And then on Saturday, we were talking about the said session that we just had with Farty Arty and Lady V and doing D&D doodles over on Farty Arty's stream. So if you're interested in that, you can find that part on Farty Arty's channel. Uh, we just like spent two hours or, or something just drawing and chatting it was very casual and very fun and uh then on sunday i had a stream with onster my good sonic friend onster and we just ranted and raved about how much we both love sonic the hedgehog we drew some sonic sonas it was a real chill relaxed time onster made an incredible scene for it in her overlay which looked amazing uh it's called the, the, the dreamcast we're calling it um it's a really fun, wholesome time, and we're going to try and do it every week. And if you want to find that and check that out and hear us ranting about Sega and Sonic and how much we love it, then you can find that over on Onster's channel. And that's everything. Those, those are all the, all the shouts I have to give you guys. Hello. You can't wait for this new Sonic movie this winter. Me either. Me either. For those who don't know, uh, I storyboarded on it. Yay! So obviously I can't say anything about it other than I'm freaking excited and I can't wait. Do you know, do you know what I'm going to do in future for you, Swifty? What? Instead of giving you just the game to look at, I'm going to give you this to look at. Okay. Oh, that'd be great, actually. And now you can see what's happening on yeah, screen. Yeah, I'd love that. There it is, the Sonic, the, the Sonic Dreamcast with me and Onster. And we're raiding Lady V! I don't Rain know what has Lady been v set up. Thank you very much, Martina. 
I don't know what Lady V is going to be doing today, but I'm sure it'll be something awesome. Uh, for those who don't know, I've spoken about Lady V in the context of her being a DM, but Art. I don't say enough that she's an incredible artist. Uh, a really, really incredible artist. So everyone go and check out what she's working on. D&D art, I'm going to be so happy this morning. I'm going to sit there and watch it and I'll be eating well. Yeah, she's, she's awesome. She also has started doing some study streams and stuff. So if she does any more of those in the future, they're really fun to draw along with. Adventure. And, uh, yeah, have a great time over at her stream. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow with the rest of Community Day. And until next time. May the rest. Of your day. Be filled. With adventure adventure there's a there's a first episode it's on lady v's channel go check it out on her youtube bye bye bye, bye. yeah thanks doig thanks vod squad take care everybody bye bye